I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. If you're new to this version, be sure to download this player reference. There's a link below the video. When I do this exercise, I'm going to be referring to a lot of the scoring elements in this player reference. One of the reasons why I like to play solitaire is to practice decision making pick by pick for each hand, but also at the end of this solitaire game, I can practice scoring, which is a little complex, I must say. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14, South, West, and North will get 13. Then we'll analyze their drawn hand and see where we can find potential fawn. It's the East round. That's important to know because that could impact some decision making. Everybody has their tiles now. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. We have a flower that can't be counted in the eight point minimum. Let's get a replacement from the back of the wall. Three bam, look at all these bams. Half flush, pung of dragons. I think I would start by discarding the six crack and see what happens. But here we have a potential chow, potential chow, potential chow, potential pung. All we need to do is pair up. One, two, three, four, five blocks. Side weight, one or four to complete. Side weight, two or five to complete. This is a closed weight, so it's a little weak. We need a seven to complete that. We'll see what happens. Let's see what we can do for South. Four, five, four, five, four. There is potential for a mixed triple chow. Mixed triple chow is number 41, eight fawn. But we do have a nice start here to half flush with the dragon pung. Potential pung here, here, here. We'll see. This one's going to be pick by pick. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, here, this is west seat. If we get a pung here, that's two. Fawn. Pung here, dragon pung, any dragon pung is two fawn. So that's two four. We have an equal number of bams and cracks. If we avoid a suit, that's one. So this would be two, four, five fawn. We need more. I think we're going to have to pick a suit. And it's arbitrary because we have potential chow with each block. Side weight, closed weight, closed weight, edge or middle weight here, closed weight. So this is probably a little stronger than this because here we have a side weight where we can complete with either a one or, or a four. So let's just see what happens. We don't really have to decide until we discard here. We'll see what we pick. So let's see what we can do for north. Let's exchange that flower. We have all the sixes. If we pair up the six, we could play triple poem. 
that would be number 32, 16 fawn. Let's see what happens. I think maybe what we could do is all simples, which are no terminals, ones and nines, or wins and dragons. So we could maybe shoot for all simples and all pung, or maybe triple pung. Let's discard these first and see what happens. Let's start by discarding the six crack. We're gonna draw four south, one dot. I wanna focus on bams or mixed triple chow with the four five. So let's discard that one. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. Five crack. So now we have more cracks than we do bams. Let's go ahead and get rid of the eight dot. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw for north. One bam. If we're gonna try for all simples, we could go ahead and at least get rid of this south. Let's just nix the winds and then the terminals. Nobody can take the south. So let's draw three dot. We want bams, really. Three, four, three, four. We don't have cracks, we threw the six. Let's focus on half flesh and throw the one. Drawing for south, one crack. Focused on bams and that dragon pung potential. One crack, nobody can take, so we'll draw. Red, they have a pung. If you draw your own pung there, keep it concealed. So we have two, four, five, two, three, five, seven potential chows all in here. Let's go ahead and get rid of the lesser suit. Two bam. And let's draw here. Three crack, we pair it up. Let's shoot for all pung and all simples. Here's a pair, 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 pair. Let's get rid of that east. Then we'll get rid of the one and the nine. Down here, we can draw, because nobody can take the east. Nine crack. Here. Five bam. Okay, now four, five, four, five, four, five. If we did mix triple chow and dragon pung, that would be nice, but we could also do a half flush with dragon pung. And we have a potential pung here. One, two, three, four, we could maybe use that as a pair if we do a half flush. We really don't need this. Let's go ahead and get rid of the west. Leave our options open. Up here, we're gonna pung. That's their seat wind. So if we are west, that's how we'll display it. Let's go ahead and get rid of seven bam. Up here, we're doing pungs. All simples, all pung, one crack. Let's draw for east, four crack, four crack. Nobody can take it. We're gonna draw for south, seven dot. We're looking for four, five, six, or three, four, five, one or the other, seven dot. Here we go. Oh, that's a keeper. Pung, potential, chow, potential, chow, potential, chow. We need a pair in here, but we can get rid of these. Three bam. Here, we could pung, but that would leave an isolated two. If we kept it, we would have potential, chow, potential, chow, potential, chow, potential, pung. One, two, three, four, and a pair. So if we were to take that, we would have one, two, three blocks. 
I think we should let it go. So three bam was discarded. We're going to draw five dot. That is a simple two through eight. So let's get rid of the one bam. So North discarded the one bam. I was thinking about taking it here, but a half flush with dragon pung, we would have one, two, three, four in a pair versus mixed triple chow. One, two, three, four in a pair for higher score. However, we would need to rely on drawing or this player for the chow tiles. If we pung that one, we would have four discards. Hmm. Do we pung the one? Whoops. Pung the one, get rid of the four tiles here, or try for mixed triple chow and a dragon pung. Leave this as the pair. Hmm. None of these are out. Let's give it some time. So this player can chow on that one. So let's let it go and have East chow. We'll get rid of these. Three dot. Up here, three dot. So we could do three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five. If we did that, there's a three bam out. We would need a three bam here and here. Or we wait and go with sixes. Four, five, six, four, five, six, four, five, six, freeing up the three here. So instead of committing to three, four, five, there's also a three bam out right now. Let's let it go. East. Let's discard that and draw north. Let's get rid of this five bam. Up here, we're, we're going to pung, so we don't want that five for a chow. Eight bam, that is a simple. We'll keep it and discard the nine bam. Let's draw down here because nobody can take that nine. North, if we're playing a half flush, we might be able to use it. Let's discard the four dot and draw. Nine bam, we paired up. One, two, three, four pair. Uh, now I almost wish I had pung that one. One, two, three, four, and then a pair there. I'm gonna take that as a sign Let's, let's see, if we do all pung half flush, six fawn for all pung, half flush is six, that's 12, 13, 14. It might be easier to get than four, five, six. Plus we could chow if we have to. Let's let it go. Four crack. Oh. That waffling may hurt. Four crack, can't take it here. We're gonna draw. Oh, we just got through the second wall. So we're now going into the middle game. Four dot. Up here we can draw. So we want to pung because all simples alone is only two fawn. So we won't qualify to win. We need to pung. Three dot. Oh, hey, 
What about pairs? One, two, three, four, five. We could play seven pair in all simples. Seven pair is number 19, that's 24 fawn. If we did all simples with that, that would be 26 fawn. That would be pretty sweet. Let's see what happens. So we have four, four, four. We need to discard. Let's get rid of the seven. It's already out. Okay, now down here. If we are in a half flush, we can chow. Seven dot. We can draw up here now. Nine crack. Drawing here. Can't take it. Five dot. Five dot. Up here we've got pears or pungs. Two crack. There's an eight bam out in an exposure. Let's discard the eight bam. East, four dot. Drawing four south, one dot. Drawing for west, seven crack. Okay, let's get rid of this north. Two, four, five, seven, potential pung. There's a pung right there. So we have a pung out, there's a pung, so that's two, three. We have two concealed pungs. That's actually a scoring element, number 66. That's two fawn. So we have one, two, three, four, and a pair. How many nine cracks are out and how many, there's two nine cracks out. Let's discard the nine crack. We're getting one away here. We're gonna draw four north, one bam. Okay, one bam, there's that second chance. Let's pung. Pung. That's for west or south. South has a pung, they're committing to half flush. Let's discard the five crack. Okay, five crack. Can't take it. Seven dot. Drawing for north. Eight dot. There's an eight dot out. No two cracks. One six crack. No five, one five dot. Let's just throw the eight dot. Okay, now we're gonna draw for east, two dot. Drawing four south, three bam. That's a good keeper, two, three, four, four, five, nine, pair of dragons. We can act on all this. Let's throw the four dot and draw four west. Four crack, pung, pung. Here's a pair. There's a pung out already. That's one, two, three, four, and we just need to be left with a pair. So let's throw, there's a five crack out. Let's throw that. This is end up gonna end up being all pung, half flush, Seat win, dragon pung. That's gonna be a nice hand. So five crack was discarded. We're gonna draw for north, south. So south was discarded. We're gonna draw now for east. Nine dot. We're in bams. Looks pretty, not helpful. Nine dot, drawing for south. Bam, very nice. So they can Pung, 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 pung. If they get a three, bam, which is probably not likely, there's two out. Three, four, five, three, four, five, pure double chi. 
that that's a scoring element pure double chow number 69 that's a fawn let's get rid of the five dot nobody can take it we're going to draw four west six dot discard up here now we need to decide either pairs or all pung all simples we're in the middle of the middle game let's expedite i think because there are the five dots there's two three five dots are out or two five dots are out this is going to be really hard to get and we only have two more there's a six crack out so the pickings are getting slim let's go ahead and expedite this and pung so if we are north and west through it it will look like that so we're going to go for all pung all simples and throw the five so then we can get rid of the six and the two pung all these okay let's draw east let's get rid of that nine dot drawing four south to crack discard drawing four west two dot discard drawing for north one dot drawing for east nine dot wow that's pung out drawing four south eight crack discard four south and we're going to pung right here for north okay let's see two crack was just thrown two crack so we can get rid of that six pretty safely I think maybe there's only one out let's draw for east two bam okay there's chow pung maybe we need to pung here this could bring value there's one east out west this is a safe discard because there's a pung out let's draw here six crack so much for triple pung up here we're going to draw green dragon i would get rid of it early we don't need it we're going to pung down here so this is south and west through it so if we discard the four bam we'll be waiting on a five or a nine we have two pungs out let's wait let's we're in the we're going into the end of the middle game let's get ready to win i was thinking that we could shoot for all pung and discard let's see here three four five three four five waiting on let's see two three four we could be waiting on a five or a nine there's one nine bam out there's one five bam out the other thing i was thinking is we could just discard the two split these out and be ready on either a three bam or a six bam or we could maybe pung for higher score so all pung half flush 
Dragon Pung would be a higher score. Let's throw the two bam. Either way, we're ready to win because we could be ready on um, three, four, five, a three bam or a six bam, or we can pung. We have options. Let's draw. Five dot. Drawing for north. White dragon. Down here, we're going to pung. So if I am east, that's what it would look like. Pung. Now we will discard north or east. There's two east out. Let's throw that. So that we're ready to win on a north. Drawing for south. Flower. Nine dot. Drawing for west. Eight bam. Drawing for north. Oh, look at that. Pung. We're going to discard the six crack. And they're ready to win on a three crack or a three dot. For all pung, all symbols. Okay, down here. Six crack, six crack. Nobody can take it. Eight bam. How many eight bams are out? There's one in an exposure, two in discards. Let's discard. Eight bam. Up here. Three. Oh yeah, pung potential. Or three, four, five, four, five, six. Okay, here we go. Seven crack. Okay, up here. We could Kong. You don't get anything for, oh no, you do. You get a, you get a fawn for a Kong. Let's Kong. So we're gonna, we're gonna Kong for West. Get a replacement. North. Nobody North. wants it. Drawing up here. Oh wait. Mahjong. Right here. Mahjong. From west. West through it. Mahjong. For east. Oh man, I was kind of pulling for this all simples, all pung. They were all really good. Okay, so let's pull it together. We have a flower. Okay, one, two, three, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Nothing special there. Half flesh dragon pung flower. Six points for half flesh. Two points for dragon pung. That's eight. Pair weight is nine. Flower is ten. So we're going to get eight from each plus ten. This player pays the ten because they threw the north. Okay, so eight, eight times three is 24 plus 10 is 34. So 34 points.
claiming discards to complete those blocks really does expedite the game. We didn't get to the end of the third wall and everybody was exposed. It's a quick game, but it sure reveals a lot of information. Do you stay concealed or do you expedite and call for discards? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.